everybody, um, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through brows. I've had a lot of um, requests to kind of go more in depth about how I do brows and how you do different types of brows. And I'm just going to strip this right back, go right back to beginners. So I've tried to keep it as simple as possible to hopefully help you guys understand a bit more why we do certain things and kind of get more of this technique and the understanding first before confusing you all with like using five products <laughs> for like a brow. Um, so I'm going to show you two types of brows today. The first one I'm going to show you is kind of more of like a bolder brow. The second brow I'm going to show you is a fluffy brow which I feel like everybody is wanting just now. I find it so difficult to try and explain why I'm doing certain things so just bear with me, I'm trying really hard here. <laughs> Let's give it a go. A couple of things that you're going to need for when you're doing your brows are number one, a wee spoolie, so a wee brush that looks like this. You can get them on their own or quite a lot of brow products can have them on the end. You're going to need one of these because you're going to use it to brush up your brow. First thing you're going to do is take your wee spoolie and brush up your brows, brush all the hairs up. My brows are out of control at the moment, honestly. Wild! Look at that. The reason that you do this is because it means that you'll be able to get a clearer view of the shape of your brow underneath. So the second thing you're going to need is something to use to carve out your brows. Now what I mean when I say carve out your brows, it's basically drawing a line underneath the brow and this will just make it easier for when you're filling in your brow later on. What I like to use is the P. Louise base, this is in number two, but if you don't have that you can also start out with a concealer and you're also going to need a flat brush like this. I think that you get there. And that'll just make it easier for when you're actually carving out the shape of your brow. There's a lot of things to take into consideration. Another thing is like the shape of your brow. Basically take your brush, right? If you pop your brush on the end of your nose, this will show you where your brow needs to start. If you then twist that and make it go through the centre of your eye, it'll show you where the arch of your brow needs to be. And then if you go to the end of your eye, it'll show you where your brow needs to end. So you can see mine needs to be elongated slightly and it'll help frame my face better. Take your eyeshadow base or your concealer when I'm doing like a full glam makeup, I normally do this step first, do the rest of the makeup and then do the brows last because I feel like that way they don't budge. If you do your brows first and you're putting bronze and things on, like I can feel like it can almost like distort the shape or you'll need to go in and fix it again so this just makes it a bit easier. Start from just before the centre of your brow and then you're just going to take it and just do that first line underneath. So just drawing your line, following your brow's natural shape, up until you reach this kind of inside of your arch. Then you're going to almost twist your brush and then go down towards the end of your brow like that. So you've got this kind of sharp line and then that just makes it easier when you're filling in your brow. So what I would then go and do, if I was doing like a full glam makeup, I would then obviously use my eyeshadow base, pop it all over my eye, but I've already got my shadow and stuff on just now, so I'm just going to buff that out underneath. And then you can see that you've still kind of got that line for you to follow. So the next product I'm going to use is just this product from Barry M. It's just called Brow Kit. It looks like that. Shape and define. I'm going to be using one in a darker shade, obviously this comes in two shades, it's literally like, I think it's like 3 dollars now, super drug or something, it's so good if you're just learning. And then I'm also going to be using this angled brush just for filling in my brows. So, so far if you think about it, you've got your spoolie, your brush for carving out your brow, your brush for actually filling in your brow, and we've only used an eyeshadow base and we're using our brow kit and that's it so far. So what you're going to do now is take this kind of creamy product to start with. You can see I've been using it lots. Get lots of product on the brush, warm it up and then just pop it on the back of your hand just to get the excess off. And then just like you used your eyeshadow base, this is, how we're, this is the kind of pattern that we're going to follow when we're filling in our brow. So start from here, working up until the, the highest point of the arch. Just drawing that line, but because you've already put the line on using the eyeshadow base, it should make it easier for you kind of following the guide. Okay, 
when it comes to the front of the brow, I just keep my brush flat and I draw the wee line and then I just use kind of upward strokes and that helps fill it in. And then see if you make a mistake and you feel like you maybe came down too far, like that's totally fine. You just take your concealer brush again and you can literally just clean it up so it's nice and sharp. Easy peasy. We're just going to then follow your guide again and take that down. But you're not wanting to take it any further than where the guideline would be. So using your brush and your nose, line it up at the end of your eye and you can see that's where you want to be ending. Okay, so now we've got like a nice kind of sharp line underneath there. We're going to move on to the top. If I was doing two brows like this, I would do step by step each time. So I would carve out this brow, I'd carve out that brow. I'd fill in from here to here on this brow, then I'd fill in from here to here on this brow. But because I'm showing you two looks, this is the only reason I'm doing it all at one time. So now we're going to be taking this top line, you can see what it is here, and you're just going to be taking it from here to the highest point in your arch. Just like that. And then you can see all you've got to do now is just join this top line to this bottom line here. And then if you feel like you maybe went a bit too far, again just take your flat brush and then you can just tidy it up. Back out. Like so. When it comes to the front of your brow, I just use whatever's left on the rest of my brush. Turn the brush so it's kind of like that. This way. And then just fluff up the front. Obviously, where I've drawn this in, there's kind of like an area here where there is no hair, so it's sparser. So that way it's going to look like it's lighter than the rest of your brow. This is where the wee powder version comes in handy. Let's be middle bit here. What you're going to do is wherever there's a sparser area, so wherever you feel like there's no hair, that's the only place you're going to put the powder. Because what that will do is it'll kind of, if you imagine this is your hair, right, this is your skin, you're putting colour onto that, so you're needing to bring where the skin is to the same colour as your hair. Does that make sense? This makes sense in my head, so I'm hoping that it makes sense to you guys. Use your powder, get the excess off in the back of your hand again, and then just where there's sparser areas, that's where you're going to pop the powder. And then that way it'll make it look as if it's the same colour. See that? It's like all in one colour now. And then just brush it up. And that's pretty much you. So that's your first kind of brow. This is a brow that I used to do when I was first learning. Obviously we can move on to bolder brows if you want to learn. We can use different products. But this is me making it as simple as I can and hopefully helping you guys understand the shape and all that kind of thing about the brow. Alright, so we'll move on now to the fluffy brow. So when you're doing your fluffy brow, a lot of the things are the same, so you still need your wee spoolie for brushing up your brow, you still need your flat brush, you still need your product to carve out your brow, but instead of like a wax or a powder, I'm going to be using a pencil, because this just kind of looks for a more natural finish and it can help it look fluffier. I'm also going to be using a brow gel, so just like we did the last time, brush up the brows so that you can see where your natural brow shape is. Take your product for carving out your brow and then just start with the steps again. So from the centre to the highest point of your arch and again I like to start around about here because then it gives, it gives you a bit more leeway if you make a mistake. On this brow I've actually got like a little gap here where their like, hair just like doesn't grow in. So instead of going up underneath that, what I'm trying to do is just kind of draw a straight line from here to here. So I don't know if you can see, like I'm just drawing the line just underneath it, you know? Because then we'll be filling that in later. And then just underneath, right down to the bottom. I'm just going to buff that out. Like I said, if I was doing like a full glam, I would obviously take that right down over my eye. And then you can see you've got your your guide there again. So the product I'm using is just this um, Brow Ultra Slim Defining Petal from Maybelline. I used this in my last video. I love it. I'm just going to brush the brows up. 
And obviously because you don't have a brush now, like this is your product, this is what you're using, this is your brush as well. So just starting from about the middle, I'm still going to draw that initial line. So this middle bit here, from here to here is what we're drawing first. And kind of leave in the front at the moment. I always kind of like to do the front last and see how the rest of the brow looks. So brushing that right up to here. You can see that you've got your first line. Then we're doing our second, which is curving down here. Brush up the brows. It's really important for a fluffy brow to keep brushing, keep brushing. Brush them all up. Look how long my eyebrow hair is. Oh my god. So now, instead of drawing a line from here to here, I'm going to go and I like to just keep as much natural brow shape as I can. So I'm just going to start round about the arch. And instead of drawing harsher lines, I'm just going to be using small strokes. So just like that, like little tiny strokes. And instead of brushing it across, I'm going to be brushing it up the way. Like that. So you're still kind of getting that shape, but it's not as harsh. Then you're going to just go and do your wee bit now, which is just this bit that needs to be joined in. So from the top of the arch to the bottom of the tail, and you're just going to be rounding that off and drawing it in. And there you go. Now we'll just do the front and again just using this product and just feathering the front out ever so slightly. Like so. So now you've kind of got your shape, all I'm going to be doing is taking a brow gel and just kind of lock the hairs in place. So this is the Rimmel Brow This Way gel. Again I used it in my last video because a fluffy brow is kind of what I normally go to. And you're just going to be literally brushing the hairs up. So don't be scared, just go smack it on and then you can kind of navigate where you want the hairs to be. What you can also do when you're doing your fluffy brow is if you feel like you get too much product up here because you're flicking up all the time, is just take that flat brush and just kind of ever so slightly just go round the top like that. Buff it out. It's fine to make mistakes, it's cool to make mistakes because that's how you learn. And that's you. Now I'm the daft day with two different eyebrows. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my brow tutorial. Like I said, I try to simplify it as much as I can using as little products as I can, just until you guys kind of get the understanding and the technique. Like I have tried really hard to just kind of get what's in my brain out into the camera because it's so difficult to try and explain. I think it's so difficult to try and explain to someone why you're doing something. But the only thing I can say is just practice, practice, practice. You've just got to keep going with it. Keep persevering with it. Well, you'll find it easier and easier every time you do it. I hope that this has helped you guys understand brows a bit better. And I'll see you next week in my next video. Bye.